Well, Thanksgiving Day is usually the best time to travel mm -hmm. if you want to avoid those busy freeways or crowded airports. And today the freeways have been clear, thankfully, and it's been holiday light at LAX2. Here's a look at LAX on Tuesday compared to today. What a difference, right? Traffic basically at a standstill in the days before Thanksgiving and today smooth sailing. KCAL's Jeff Nguyen spoke with people who made the choice to travel today. Jen Wachter arrived at LAX after visiting her eldest daughter Kylie in Phoenix. Mom lives in Chicago. Her younger daughter Sadie picked her up at the airport on Thanksgiving Day. They're spending the holiday together at Sadie's apartment. What's over here? Okay, so over here we have a wall of hand turkeys. They'll be sitting down for a vegetarian meal that Sadie's cooking this year. My children are my life, so obviously I do whatever I can to see both of them, especially around the holidays. So every time I see my kids, it just melts my heart. Thanksgiving Day is the slowest travel day of the holiday weekend at LAX. Veronica Munoz and Nicholas Villanueva say the light traffic adds up to big savings on their travel plans to Honolulu. If you put it together with the hotels and everything, probably save about $2,000. As a packet. We also ran into the James Madison University men's soccer team. They're competing in the Division I National Championship Tournament, so they got here a few days early to prepare for their Sweet 16 match on Saturday. So this year is the farthest we've made it, and hopefully we can continue our success and advance into the Elite Eight. I have three children, small children of my own, and my wife uh, you know, brought them to uh, her parents' house, so that's tough to be away from them on Thanksgiving Day. Someone needs to be really special for you to want to pick them up at the airport. Exactly. Back at Sadie's apartment, her sister Kylie's picture will be on the dinner table during her mother's visit. It's good to be able to see my mom and like cook together and get all of those traditions still. While mom says she's especially grateful to have two daughters who both graduated college now with their own careers. I've raised two amazing women who are doing great things. No matter what's shared around the holiday table, eliminating distance may be what's most savored. In West Hollywood, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News.